Okay, we are officially knee-deep in the Season 1 launch of The War Within, and believe it or not, yes, there are now even more brand new ways in getting gear that could potentially shoot you all the way up to 626 item level, and even higher, potentially obtaining 636 gear. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into it. Starting off with the easiest way to get a very big power spike that a lot of people still, for some reason, don't know about is doing the story mode version of Nurabar Palace. Yes, you heard that correctly. If you've been unaware, this is a brand new difficulty for the latest raid that's called Story Mode that you do this entirely solo and awards you with a 619 item level piece of craftable gear. So get ready for this. It starts with getting a quest from Webster in Dornagal right before you go down into the long tunnel toward the Ringing Deeps. He gives you a quest called Our Chance to Strike, where then you will go to Ajkahet and turn in at the City of Threads, where you will then begin a very short quest chain. You complete the quest named A Spy Like Us, and then immediately after, complete the Defense of the People and Make Them Pray quest. After that, you'll get your final quest called A Shot at the Top, and then after completing that, you will get the quest that you actually desire, which is called To Kill a Queen. So if you're confused, we labeled it on screen here for all the quests you need to do in order, so please be sure to check this out. Once you get To Kill a Queen, you simply talk to the NPC located on your map, press the dialogue option button, and boom, you're good to go. You're inside of the raid. From here, you defeat Queen Anserek on the story mode difficulty. It is very, very trivial. It's very easy. It's almost impossible to die here. And then you're rewarded with your enchanted Rune Harbinger Crest, which can be used for a piece of gear up to 619, which is very, very solid. What a lot of players are doing right now is using these on their weapons, and constantly I'm seeing players walk around with these pieces of gear, and it's very, very easy to obtain this just by doing this story mode mission. Another way to get absolutely massive power spikes in item level is this similar method by going through the Harbinger Crest crafting system. Now, what in the world do I mean by this? Well, in the War Within right now, you can complete high-end content and get awarded with Crest, which you can then transfer into very powerful gear, similar to how we were just talking about. So now that you know that this is an option, how do we acquire the said Crest? Well, lucky for you, there's multiple ways. In game, there are multiple Crests, but the ones we're going to be focusing on are the Ruined Harbinger Crests, which are earned through Mythic 4 through 7s and Heroic Neurobar Power. Palace, and these will craft you 619 item level gear, and the highest quality crest is called Gilded Harbinger Crest, which can be earned by completing Mythic Dungeons at a minimum level of 8, and killing bosses from Mythic Neurobar Palace, and these can craft you up to 636 item level pieces of gear, which is insane. Now, in order to turn these into high item level crafted gear, you need to listen carefully here. Both of these currencies can be exchanged at the NPC Lande near the Enchanting Trainer in Dornigal, which you can then combine with your previous Omen crafted gear at the Crafting Orders NPC that you previously used your sparks on. You will then use this to boost up the item level of this Omen crafted gear, all the way up to a potential of 636 item level. Previously, it was damn near impossible to get Gilded Crest as a casual player because you would have to complete a Mythic Plus 9, which a lot of people aren't doing right now, but just the other day, Blizzard nerfed this down to Mythic Plus 8s, which helps significantly in making it much easier than ever before to get this done and have this as an opportunity for you. In case you're wondering, even if you do not time the Mythic Plus 8s, you are awarded with, I believe, 5 Gilded Crest, but if you do time them, you are given 12, meaning that in order to obtain 90 in total and craft your 636, you need to run roughly 8 plus mythic dungeons in total and time these if you choose. Personally, I grinded this out. It took roughly about like 8 to 10 hours, uh, and that was including looking for groups and stuff. But I managed to get my weapon all after this, which gave me a very, very big DPS boost increase, and it was 100% worth the effort. Additionally, PvP recently just got some updates on some ways to acquire some loot in a variety of ways. Blizzard just recently put out an update stating that Crest can now be dropped from raided PvP activities in the game as well. They stated that the Weathered Harbinger Crest are now rewarded from combatant activities, Carved Harbinger Crest are rewarded from combatant and challenger activities, Ruined Harbinger Crest are rewarded from rival activities, and Gilded Harbinger Quest, the really juicy ones, are rewarded from duelist and elite activities. In case you didn't know, I placed the rankings on here required for each of these, so if you're a badass PvP player here, you could obtain your guaranteed 636 gear 
really, really easy if you're high-end PvPers. I absolutely love that they added this flexibility in that PvP. You can then transition into getting some really high-end PvE gear, and it's a very big win in my opinion. Additionally, if you're really desperate for gear, whether it be on an alternate character or filling out some pieces on your main, what a lot of people don't know is that PvP can actually be a great way for you to get up to 610 item level gear quite efficiently. The idea is that you take your conquest points that you earn by, you know, doing your weekly rated PvP events, which is actually really easy now because the solo queue arenas, the solo queue RBGs and stuff, and you convert these conquest points into forged gladiators heraldry at the PvP vendor. With just a few of these items, you can guarantee get yourself a 610 piece of loot that you can get crafted for you as well. What I did personally, I would take these heraldries and get these crafted on some off pieces like bracers or boots or something like that. Some pieces that aren't exactly easy to get, but I could shoot them up to 610 if I didn't have a champion slot on my alternate character. So another piece of advice that a lot of people seem and not take advantage of. Really great for filling out those adventure or veteran pieces. When it comes to, of course, one of the most significant ways you can earn loot, we already know you can't forget about Mythic Plus. I will say that if you're running Mythic Plus completely solo, it isn't that efficient, and it's actually quite difficult to obtain pieces of gear on your own, uh, especially since only two pieces of loot drop at the end of every dungeon, giving you about a 40% chance to get a piece of loot, which really is not that good. After playing Mythic Plus really hardcore the last few weeks, the best advice I can give you is to try to stack with a group of players all of the same armor type, or run with friends that you can trade loot between or some guildies of some sort. So you can all trade the gear between each other if you don't need it. Believe me, I know this isn't something that's easy to do, and I think it's one of the biggest and most gate-kept content ideas in all of World of Warcraft right now, especially since Mythic Plus is such a pillar to the game, and it has a time limit rather than a death counter, which I really don't like uh, at this point in time in, in retail WoW. Additionally, remember that starting at Mythic Plus 7 is when you get guaranteed hero track loot that will award you with gear starting at a minimum of 610 that could be upgraded all the way up to 626, so it's really good for getting out of that champion uh, bracket and getting above 625 like we're talking about in this video. If you find yourself being gatekept, not having the opportunity to join higher level keys, then you simply need to just take your own personal key, find a group for yourself, and consistently upgrade your Mythic IO score so you have a better portfolio to be accepted into other groups. Additionally, please use your Valor Stones, upgrade your champion gear as much as you possibly can, all the way up to potentially 619 to get your item level up so you look more appealing as well. You should absolutely be able to get into groups by that point. Additionally, of course, we have your weekly vault. You can be getting guaranteed 610 item level gear minimum from completing your tier 7 delves, which can be boosted all the way up to 626. When it comes to raiding, your great vault will drop potential loot relative to the difficulty that you killed bosses at. So at a minimum, I would suggest trying to, to at least attempt to find groups for clearing the first two bosses in Mythic Neurobar Palace to try to get a guaranteed Mythic Track item to drop. And it could be anything from the raid. So it could be very, very big opportunity at getting some insane trinkets or weapons from there. Last and most importantly, of course, we have the Great Vault for your Mythic Plus dungeons, which at a bare minimum, you want to fill up all of this by doing plus three dungeons to fill it up with at least hero track gear. But if you can try to help it, you want to try to complete a Mythic Plus 10 dungeon. Remember also that you do not need to time these for the dungeons to award it for the Great Vault. You simply just need to complete them. It doesn't matter how many deaths or how much time you're over, you just need to complete it. For example, what a lot of players do is state on their ad for the Looking for Group that they're just looking for players to complete the key and not time it so they can all be rewarded with a high level piece of vault gear starting at a minimum of 623 item level on the mythic track which is nice as well lastly of course for some easy easy layup gear at this point in the game for your alternate characters and trying to get rid of those you know final veteran or adventure pieces of gear you can join looking for group neurobar palace and even join normal neurobar palace runs in the looking for group channels as well on a fresh level 80 i would highly recommend doing this because you earn yourself very, very nice starter gear, but at a minimum, you have a chance of getting champion level gear to really replace those veteran and adventure level gear very quickly. All of this can be upgraded to a maximum of 619 item level very, very easy and just make you a very good candidate to be selected for heroic rating or even high end mythic key pushing, simply just, you know, pushing your item level as high as you possibly can with this champion loot. I'm not really sure why everybody can't seem to get their item level up past like 610, 615, up to 620, when acquiring champion level gear is just an absolute joke at this point in the game between running plus seven delves, running normal Neurobar Palace, which should be on farm at this point for just about everybody. If you complain that you lack the Valor Stones, I mean, you can go to World Soul events, do those out there, you get like five or 600 in just a few events, and just 
go run those plus sevens, man, and try to get a minimum of 610 item level gear out there, and you could shoot up to 626. But listen, ladies and gentlemen, of course, there are a couple ways here that we mentioned that can help you get some very easy loot, as well as some high-end 626 and even 636 weapons, potentially. I did this the other day. It was absolutely worth it. It shot my DPS through the moon in our raid. With how much content is actually available in the War Within and the variety that comes with it, it is very, very easy to get gear right now in the game by doing things all completely solo you can easily break the 620 item level bracket i think if you add that with a couple of these ways and farming out these crests uh you will easily pass 625 with all this advice i really hope it helps you if you have any questions on how to gear or do anything please let me hear about it in the comment section below as always it's an absolute pleasure to be making content for you all until the very end my name is sky from the comeback kids i will see you all in the next one peace Hey, hope you enjoyed the video. Listen, if you guys enjoyed the content, we have a ton of other videos to help you get through the war within, like these two right here. And since you're already here, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button to join the Comeback Kids family today because every subscriber matters. Thank you all so much for enjoying the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.